Today, I'm Putin's Fab Shop. I'm gonna sit back and watch as my mustache does more rust repair on our shoebox project here. Let's get started. All right, so last time we left off in part one, we started cutting everything out of this side. We found some damage up in this wheel well, and that's where I made it to before I had to stop. Um, to start moving forward, we need to repair this wheel well, and we have the door post up there to repair um, before we can start throwing new metal in there. So what we need to do is cut out more of this quarter where we can see what all damage is up in here. There's more damage uh, behind up in here. Looks like it's been hit at one point. So what we're gonna do is cut this out where we can take a look in there. For everyone who thinks the mustache is terrible, between it and these safety glasses I've been using. Oh, my buddy and his girlfriend made a valid point that I look a little bit like Jeffrey Dahmer. Maybe. I may have to go up higher, <laughs> up here, to get that straightened out. We'll see where we can cut and blend this in. And then off of this, we'll have to cut it to make it match and drill out all these spot welds and get this lip off of here. And then a little bit of repair on this piece as well. But we've got to get this in here, down to the bottom. Let's get going. So I'm checking a couple things here. One, that should be starting right there. I cut that right on the corner of the old piece. So we need that touching right there, which that'll bring it back a hair. And then around this way up here, you can see from the factory there's a lap here. Well, that's what this is right back here. It's a little high right now. So it also needs to come down a little bit. So holding up this lower patch panel in place also supports that it needs to come down just a hair as well. Um, I'll get out here first thing in the morning. We're going to fit this thing up better and get it patched in. Looks like we're going to have to build our lower piece up here. Nothing crazy. Should pretty much be a flat piece. And then maybe here in the back corner, right back there, there's a little bit of rust that our patch ain't going to grab. We'll build a little piece that goes in there somehow. And with the wheel well in good, we'll be able to start working our way forward and continue from there. So I got out here this morning, just now got started. Um, I moved this whole thing back just about an eighth of an inch. That has me matching back here where I want to be. It has this uh, little lap up here matching. And I think this is where this wheelhouse needs to be. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to drill these spot welds out and repair this wheelhouse where it got cut a little bit and we'll also go ahead and make us some marks of where we want to trim this uh, down to where we're not all the way back in there having to weld we'll uh, 
figure out where we want to cut it. So I've about got that patch ready where it can go in, uh, but right here, again, a little bit more rust, so we're going to have to cut out this little spot, put some new metal in there, just so we can start getting this patch put back in here. Then we should be able to start moving forward. first glance, I thought there was only a couple little spots. It's pretty pitted though. And when I hold it up to the light, I can see more through it. Uh, me and Chris are talking. First we're talking about just trying to patch it, but really I think their down's gonna need to be replaced because it's just, it's so pitted. I bet as we work on it, more holes start showing up anyways. And honestly, the amount of work it's gonna take to Try to patch up that rusty stuff. Probably just as quick to replace it. So, yeah. Probably gonna do this in a little three piece. One over here, one here, and then add the flange however needed. So, we'll figure it out as we go. knocked out that um, I did it in three pieces you can kind of see there uh, it, the little lip will need a little bit of dolly work maybe just depends on how the quarter fits up to it we'll have to get there first so <clears throat> now I want to get this thing fit up here where we can finally start moving forward adding metal to the car because I'm tired of cutting metal off the car uh, so we're gonna get this thing fit up however I need to, or we can start welding it in. process of welding this thing up. I'm not going to record for that. I'll just get it done and then check back in. Well, I got this whole thing welded up. Um, back here at the back, at the front, 
I ground it down just because I don't really know how the panels hug there. Um, these in here should not be hit by the panel, so I really don't want to grind them down. Um, it's kind of the reality of things. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but you know, the, the more you grind off of it, the weaker you make it. It's going to be behind the quarter, so um, between both of these being old metal, my gap not being perfect, it's kind of difficult to weld really. difficult to weld wasn't really one to be consistent but um, that's better than what we had for sure I'm gonna put some of this tractor enamel on here this thing has a rust inhibitor in it it's van sickle I really like this stuff uh, so we'll spray this to seal up all that and finally start working our way forward Man, this stuff's a lot of work when you get into it. So, this side and that side's matching as far as measurements, um, height, everything. This is good. If our door post was good, we could go ahead and get our rocker up in place, but our door, door post is not. We're gonna save that for a day when I'm fresh because it's been a long day. I ain't ate breakfast, lunch, or nothing. I've just been out here working. Um, I'm happy with how this is fitting up. Sometimes you just gotta make this stuff work. Uh, between the damaged wheel well, the wheel well we got, and to repair it, this quarter. I, I don't know what, but something wasn't quite right. So there's a lot of little tweaking stuff that I couldn't record, or we would still be at the beginning of the video, because there's a lot of work that happened today just to get us to this point. So um, I'm happy with the progress of today. I think I'm going to clean up the shop, sit here and stare at this door post drink some beer and Friday morning it's Tuesday now I got work the next two days but Friday when I'm off again I'll get out here and we'll figure out how we're gonna get this door post knocked out because it's the last challenge on this side we get it figured out where we can tie this together with the rocker we'll throw the inners in like on that side we'll build the mount like that side and we'll be caught up so that's where we're at for now okay so here we go on the door post today Upper door post, little hinge uh, mounting spot. It is in, uh, it's solid. I mean, I can't really tell what was going on. I can see where someone welded here, but that was cut out. I don't know why. It's not really full of rust or anything. Looks like there may have been a little bit of rust right there, but all the metal around it's good. So I don't know what was going on there. I don't think we need to replace this whole thing. So I'm not going to. I'm gonna replace that little bit of sheet metal right there and clean it up because it's plenty solid. Um, that won't ever be an issue. Now down here on the other hand, this thing is in rough shape. The uh, little brace out here is in rough shape. We've got rust down in here. Um, holes all the way through. Come around the front, you can see we got rust in there, rust up here. So over here, I'll show you what we're working with. He brought me a uh, whole door post from another car. So 
we'll replace or we'll repair the top one and then over here on the bench we'll get these old hinges pulled off here um they can be a pain sometimes we'll get those pulled off get the old rocker removed make sure there ain't nothing down there we need to repair and this one's in way better shape what i can tell so far yeah that's all good may end up being a little patch right there so i think we'll just cut off the whole bottom graft it onto the car and then we'll be able to tie a rocker to it so let's get started Trying to make a video with the hiccups. Uh, I cut all this stuff off earlier. Sprayed some of this tractor name on there. It has stuff in there that helps kill rust. And it usually has a setup before you can work with it. So I put it over in front of a fan. Got it to set up. When that was going on, I had a guy here working on the house. And I was doing that. And I hopped over and in between was... Uh, put little patch panels in here uh, just patching up that sheet metal this body line's close it ain't quite perfect it is going to have to be body worked a little bit right there if he cares about that but um, these are done that's real simple guys just a little little patch in there um, what we have to do now <sighs> is I cut this piece off because it goes on there, the rocker laps to it, a bunch of crazy shit welded to it all over. But it had rust in it, as you can see there. So I flattened this out as flat as possible, outlined it on a piece of paper. We're gonna make a little template to weld in there. We'll get it all welded up and then I think we're gonna add this thing probably right in this area so right below the little uh, whatever the hell you want to call that but we'll end up cutting this somewhere along there and do what we got to do to slice that one off get everything where it goes So I got this thing marked out. All I did was go around there and find me different measuring points. Or I could go say, measure off that corner there, up to there, see it's five and five sixteenths. Come over here and make a mark at five and five sixteenths. Then I went around all the way off there, measured that, got me two marks and made a, or used the straight edge on the back and I'm thinking I got this thing marked how I need it. I hope for measurements uh, to square it back up. 
One, it's the same shape, so we know we're gonna have to match it up to this. That should hold us left to right. Um, damn close, I mean. That should get us there. And then, to know if we're square, uh, up and down or whatever, I put the screw and side of these nuts and measure them from center to center. That way, uh, I know when that's right. I also took them out, put them in the, the top up here and the bottom down here and measured it. So that gives me two there. So once I get those measurements and everything squared up on here, we should be good. And we'll go from there. So I had a couple magnets here, half lining this thing up, and I was matching the corner up here, picking up on this thing, and what I was wanting to do was get where I could measure it, but I don't have enough ways to be able to really hold this thing good. So here on the corner, this front and the side was matching up really good, so I just put a quick little tack on it there, and with the magnets I could measure. Um, I just moved the other screws, they needed to be 18 from center to center, which they were. This one needs to be uh, 14 and 11 sixteenths, which it is, dead on. So, this thing ain't matching up all the way around. This lower post is a little bit different shape up here. Um, that is stuff that you won't be able to see. You'll be able to see this in here. Of course, the interior will cover that up. We still want to get it matching as close as possible. But what I'm going to do right now is throw a couple tacks right here because that's real smooth. And we've got a nice butt up to over here, right about halfway down. And then it's like this lip could go back a little bit, so we may tap on that with a hammer. Uh, but I want to get a few more tacks on here to hold this in place, and we'll start working everything else uh, to match up to each other. So my SD card got full yesterday, it was towards the end of the day, so I just went ahead and called it quits. Uh, I just come out here this morning, and all I did was hang this door with a couple bolts in each one. This one's missing the nut plate, I'll show you how to build that. But, this door, of course we can't close it because the bracing's in there, but the little bit we can open it, feels good. So. Obviously nothing's real wrong, nothing's binding, so. So I think that's where we're gonna stop. Um, I know between the wheel wheel and that door post, I didn't do as much recording as I should, but like I said, sometimes I just gotta get work done and uh, make stuff happen. So this is where we're gonna leave off. In the next video, we'll probably go ahead and cut out that bracing uh, to match the driver's side in a way where we're gonna have to move some bracing around before we cut that out. That, day, that way we can get this door to go ahead and close. Of course, then we'll be able to check the body lines and everything else on it. And once it's good, if everything's matching, um, it'll be a lot easier to tweak stuff now. So, 
we'll get that out of there, be able to close the door, hope like hell we nailed it. If not, fix whatever needs fixed, and then we'll add the rocker and everything in place. And at that point, when everything lined up good, we'll be able to start full welding and smoothing everything out and working our way back on the inside. So that's it for today. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. You don't have to, it really helps me out though. Helps me get my name out there. So I do appreciate it when you guys do. Um, hop over to Instagram, give me a follow on there if you're on there at Coden's Fab Shop. And I'll see you guys in the next video.